An open redirect is a type of insecure direct object reference. These are dangerous vulnerabilities. They don't always get the same respect as like a cross-site scripting or an SQL injection, but they are a high severity issue nonetheless and should be fixed as quickly as possible. Let's take a look at an example for illustration. Although these can come in many forms, it's kind of a hallmark of insecure direct object references in general. They can come in so many different ways. We take a look at this link to the OWASP. We'll copy the link and we'll paste it up here in the bar so we can see it a bit better. What we notice is, is that there's a forward URL parameter. Sometimes you'll see this as a redirect parameter in ASP and ASP.NET. You'll see it as the, some kind of a to parameter or redirect to parameter in all kinds of different applications. But the idea is that instead of simply linking the user to the next page, which is the safest way to redirect using a anchor tag, the application is going to take in input from the user, incorporate that into a redirect response, typically a 302, and use that to get the user over to the next page. This pattern should be avoided when possible. It usually isn't even necessary. Let's take a look at the effects. Now, if we follow this link here, we'll surely get redirected to OWASP.org, which is the intent of this particular link. So it's no surprise that we get taken over there. What happens though, if this parameter is changed to a different parameter? So just for fun, we'll put in say Walmart. That's a site that most people have access to, so it makes for good demos. If the application doesn't strongly validate and authorize that this URL being passed in is not on the list of URLs that's approved, or doesn't at least prefix the URL with a valid domain, then we'll get, end up getting redirected to the incorrect site. So we click on this, and sure enough, the application doesn't do the checks, and we end up on the wrong site. Now, of course, in this particular demo, there wasn't anything wrong with sending someone to either the OWASP site or the Walmart site. That's not the point. The point is, is that it'd be very easy to create a phishing link that redirected the user to a malicious site. The user would think that they're getting sent over to the Matilda site because look at the link. The link really is to Matilda.local. It's not to any other site. That's why open redirects are often used in spear phishing attacks because even sophisticated users who are smart enough to look at the domain before they click on a link might get tricked not realizing that where they're going to end up is actually being passed in as a parameter. So again, avoid using this pattern to redirect users as much as possible. And if we are going to use a redirect, say on our login page in order to redirect the user internally inside of our site, at least make sure to prefix whatever the input parameter passed in is with your domain hard-coded as the prefix. That way, it won't be possible to use this to get the user to anywhere outside of your own domain.